after the deepest point, the ascent is almost immediate, up to a depth of 20 meters. And after there, there are some. With regards to my personal limit, I think the first limitation is, is it worth it? I would happily do and have done a lot of very deep dives for a reason. There's something there to explore, whether it be a historic shipwreck from some very important battle or war that nobody's managed to dive, that could be documented by video or still. In deep water, it's worth researching and then visiting and coming back with some images. A cave that's not been explored, that is actual virgin territory, true exploration. But going to an extremely deep point in the ocean or just a lake to get a number that is the deepest, for me personally, my drive doesn't extend to finding that a motivation for me doing what I do. I basically need a reason to be down there. A lot of people ask you, well, you know, what is down there? Is, is there fish? Is there, is there something to look at? I say, what are you going there for? What's there? Just the cave. Well, why did you do that? And you say, well, did you ever go to the Grand Canyon? And they go, well, yeah. And you say, well, why? Well, it's amazing. It's just like nature created this great big canyon. It's all these different colors and all these different structures, and it's just visually amazing. So there you go then. Now you understand why we go in that hole. It's just pretty impressive that nature, geology, evolution, God, whatever your belief is, something created these amazing things like Everest, like the Grand Canyon. As cave divers, we get the privilege to see equally amazing things, equally stunning, but a lot less people get to see what we see.